Hi, my name's Sam Lappin. This is my friend Darwin. In April of 2013, Darwin and I shared a random moment, but it started a journey. A journey with a lot of twists and turns, a journey that was interesting, fun, and educational. That's why we'd like to share it with you in our viral video diary. It all started on Thursday, April the 25th, 2013. My cat Darwin interrupted me while making a Lego Town promo video. Lego Town is a fundraising event I coordinate for my son's school. You can keep up with what's new in Lego Town by visiting our Facebook page. It's facebook.com backslash Lego KY. Also, everyone who likes our Facebook page will be invited to a special Lego Town event that's not open to... <laughs> <laughs> I put it on YouTube and on my personal and Lego Facebook pages. I emailed the link to some friends. I shared the link with a few cat video websites and that evening the video began to be embedded on a variety of sites including this one called Cat Fairies. And Darwin showed no interest. The next day, April the 26th, the views grow rapidly and there were over 10,000 on YouTube and Darwin showed minor interest. April the 27th, embedding on other websites increases sharply. This is an example, Love Meow. And Darwin takes a 14 hour nap. April the 28th, my nephew tells me it's on Reddit. And what was funny is he didn't know about the video. He just came across and went, oh my gosh, that's my uncle. And Darwin is distracted by a favorite toy. April the 29th, YouTube views exceeding 25,000 on this day. Darwin and his entourage greet adoring fans from upstairs window. Tuesday, April the 30th, YouTube views over 50,000, goes on Pinterest, Tumblr, and Twitter. Here's an example Pinterest page that showed it. I celebrate my 50th birthday, and Darwin ordered pizza. Wednesday, May the 1st, the TV show Right This Minute contacted me and asked for permission to show the video. It goes on WCPO's website, that's our ABC station here in Cincinnati. And the other cats become annoyed by Darwin's attitude. Thursday, May the 2nd, it goes on the MSN, Cincinnati Enquirer, and Huffington Post, and CBS News websites. There's the MSN website. I'm seeing it more on websites from other countries. This includes Germany, France, Japan, Switzerland, China. Turkey, Russia, and India. It appears on the TV show right this minute. A middle school in Burlington, Kentucky has a Lego town and I'm trying to do a promo. You can keep up with what's new in Lego town by visiting our Facebook page. But a cat got in the way. It's not open to... <laughs> Where did that cat come from? This told us that the cat generally prefers his wife, but this day he just wanted to put his paw in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, he was just caressing the guy's face. He wanted us to know that those of you that are in Cincinnati, you can go see Lego Town this June. Just go to their Facebook page, facebook.com slash Lego KY. And that was a nice promo for the event. Next, several companies ask about paying me to promote the video. This was certainly one of the biggest surprises, but I got more than 20 inquiries through YouTube of a company who wanted to uh, make a deal with me and pay me uh, in order for the rights to promote the video. And at this point, Darwin hires another cat to handle his fan mail. This is actually my cat, Luther. He likes to come into my home office and sit on my keyboard and watch as the letters scroll across. Friday, May the 3rd. The YouTube views over 100,000 at this point, and I sign a contract with Storyful to promote the video in exchange for 50% of the profits, and there's the contract. 
The comments are wide ranging, and Darwin trades his video rights for a saucer of milk. So, speaking of comments, let me share a few of these with you. First of all, some people just talked about how they laughed at it. For example, I watched this 10 times in a row, laugh so much I have tears in my eyes. Thanks. LMAO. This made me laugh way louder than I think it should have. I don't find that funny, but I just keep on laughing. And ha 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 ha, this. Some people gave a complimentary response. For example, that is priceless. That guy is only surpassed in coolness by his adorable cat. And that was adorable. And I love the face of the guy who said that. Some were corrective. This person said it's not backslash it's just plain slash and they're correct that is what it should have been I think your cat was trying to say did you mean to say forward slash ha ha it's a forward slash you moron slash backslash slash backslash slash backslash please repeat that every day until you know it by heart some people talked about what Darwin's thoughts were in the video Human, you got a little smuts in your face. Let me get that for you. Oh, no, there's something in your teeth, too. Don't worry, I got this. Daddy, where's the meow mix? I can't find the meow mix. I'm freaking out. Where is that annoying drivel coming from? Here? No, here. Or here? Here? Stop it. No one cares about your models that I've been in the litter box just now. Now shut your noise hole and get me my damn fancy feast. All I can imagine is the cat saying, shh. Just shut up. We don't need words where we're going. Some people had a yuck response. Do you have any idea where cat's paws have been? That dude seems to be enjoying having that cat's foot in his mouth way too much. He just left the litter box, dude. You will have explosive diarrhea for a couple days. You know I cover my shit dirt with this paw. Mmm, taste the rainbow, human. Taste it. And this, kids, is how toxoplomosis is contracted. Yeah, funny until you remember where the cat's paw has been. Then it's hilarious and a bit disgusting. Then hilarious again. Some people had an I know him response. Hey, this is my friend Sam Lappin. Mine too. He's a couple of friends of mine from college. And to think that one of my good friends out east actually knows him. Coincidence. And I got several responses to this and many more in person. You know, teachers at my kid's school would come up and say, this person that I know out in Wyoming sent me this video. And I said, hey, I know this guy. Or my nephew actually had the video sent to him by his boss. And when he told his boss, hey, that's my uncle, his boss didn't believe him. This guy says, this is Sam Lapp, and I had him for college in Speech 101, and he was also my wedding officiant. Good dude. Then I got, are you Sam from Manchester Hall at ISU? You sure look like him. Yes. Hi, Angie. Oh my gosh, hi, how are you? And do you have a short video on I Can Has Cheeseburger right now? This is someone I had not had any contact with in more than 20 years. And this person said, holy shit, this guy was my English professor, not even joking. And I responded, actually, I was your speech professor. For the love of Lego, that's a sweet Lego set. I genuinely think that anyone who does Lego is a good person. Came here for the cat, stayed for the Lego. And cats and Legos, what more would you want? I agree. A guy and his cat, some people talked about. How adorable is this? Love a man who loves his kitty no matter what. Gotta love is a nerd and his cat. I responded, thanks, I try to own it. I love this, and I love the look of love he gives the kitty. And that guy wins the Cool Cat Person of the Year Award. I'm very happy to accept that award. Some people had a rude response. Geez, mister, it wasn't that funny. Something tells me this guy thinks riding a bicycle without a helmet is living dangerously. I was wishing for the cat to demolish that Lego set. Would have been funny. Did this guy say Facebook? My man looks like he just came out from the 80s with that tie and shirt combo. And, ladies and gentlemen, the world's most unthreatening man, the guy you do want to run into in a dark alley. And he just mutters as he walks off, I need a life. Some were even ruder. I don't know what's more creepier, that he still plays with Legos or his laugh. That man has no life. The only one who thought that was funny was the geeky old man still playing with Legos. What's worse, his haircut, shirt color, or tie? 
And this guy says, at first, the guy comes off as kind of a dork. The 80s hair, the loud school teacher voice, and the offensive tie, and guess, the Lego. Then comes Kitty, and all of a sudden, he's just a happy guy who loves his Kitty, even though Kitty's movements seem to say, you talk too loud, and your tie offends me. I responded to him, it's like you've known me all my life. And here's some of the rudest comments. This person says he's totally stoned off his ass, LOL. And I asked, me or the cat? Lego KY, I'm not even going to touch that one, LOL. Damn, that guy is that cat's bitch. Honestly, first you choose that awful tie, and now you're going on and on about your models. They suck. Shut your face, holy human. Cat, why is your lip so damn crooked? Open your mouth, both sides. And that guy does seem boring as shit. Some people posted memes. That one's kind of cute. That one's nice. Very adorable. And of course, we got this guy. This is interesting uh, example of Photoshop. We've got Samuel L. Jackson's face on that cat. Looks, looks like they did a good job. I'll just let you read that one. That one's a little bit troubling. And my favorite, Grumpy Cat. Some people talked about my love life. Can you say virgin forever? Clearly, a man recording himself alone because nobody else will. He may be obsessed with Lego, but he has a cat for company. You're never going to get laid talking about your mini town and rocket. Just shh. And that dude is married? And he got this response, yeah, to his mom's basement. And that really hurt coming from a 12-year-old who uses a selfie in her underwear. Some people talked about nerd love. Wedding ring. Yeah, right. Somebody came to my defense. Let me guess, you assume just because he has Legos, he can't find a relationship. And she says, for every nerd guy, there's a nerd girl. And I use nerd with love. And I replied, yes, and she and I just celebrated our 20th anniversary. Some people talked about wanting to get to know me. I want to be friends with this guy, play some Lego together, laugh at the good times. Thanks, Brendan. She said to her friend Nicole, your future husband. And I asked, me or the cat? This person said, Lego and cats? What dating site is he on? And I had to break her heart. Sorry, married for 21 years. This person said, everything about this guy screams sex god. And I want to be friends with that guy's laugh. I like that. Thanks, Luke. Laugh, laugh. Some people talked about my laugh. For example, his laugh is the best I've ever heard. I love how his laughs wheeze at the end. Did anyone else find his laugh moderately creepy? His laugh, oh my God, like an old man dying. And may God protect his sense of humor. That's kind of sweet. Some people talked about who I look like. For example, he is actually the actor from the Subway commercials. I always wondered what happened to Glenn Humplink from the Tom Green Show. I don't know who that is. Bill Gates, I've heard that one many times. 99% uh, 90, sure this is Danny Alexander, UK MP and the Chief Secretary to the Treasure. I got many comments about how I look like this guy. And finally, this one kind of confuses me. Made me think of Louise from Bob's Burgers. Lost in translation. I got a lot of comments that came in in foreign languages. This one was translated by Facebook as Cat Ego in video advertising for Facebook. Yes, literally spit crying after one. This one translated to In what does your hands in your mouth, mouth of the owner, to open and swishing is it might be seem strange that innocence is cute? This one translated to Hold my paw food and shut up. And this one translated as, instead of the mouth of the guy, admire a sense of humor and modesty. He's still balanced on the web video knowing it would pass for a fool, so we thank him and respect him. Bunch of little shit. Here's some more that were lost in translation. One word, underbart, translates as, wonderful. This one was also one word, chow. And according to Bing, it translates to, cabbage. This one translated to, they are visible until you see the surprise envelopes. Ha! Ah. Uh, this one I thought might come out as being kind of rude, but actually translates to, that's really nice. And this one translated to, when things become fun series, there is always in the middle or a truffle or a broken leg. 
And then finally some miscellaneous comments. He looks so violated, but in kind of a happy way. This is a form of cat domination called cat slapping. The progression of the cat is to take its paw and place it in the owner's mouth. Is further expression of dominance. There will be no apologies from a cat. Give this cat a job. Every time we see a politician or other talking head on TV bloviating, this cat needs to make an appearance. Cat got your tongue? Huh? Huh? Get it? I'll show myself out. And this person says to his friend Twyla, that guy is my life and the cat is you. Oh my God. So I'm a metaphor for some guy's life and my cat is the metaphor for his friend. And this person says, I feel like the Holy Spirit works like this sometimes. All right, with the chronology again, Saturday, May the 4th, YouTube views over 150,000. Viewing on YouTube now preceded by a commercial. So you go to it, you get this commercial. After five seconds, you can skip the commercial. And it's featured on Animal Planet's website. And Darwin takes a 16-hour nap. Sunday, May the 5th. This is the peak day for YouTube views. I'll talk more about that in a moment. And it appears on KREM News in Spokane, Washington on this day. The anchors say, I have a creepy nervous lap and call me an old guy hanging out playing with Legos. Invited to a special Lego Town event that's not open to... <laughs> All the man in this video has some exciting things to tell about Lego Town and is shooting a promo for it, but does not go as planned. The man's cat is apparently, apparently not having any business for this promo and interrupts it, and right now it's climbing toward 200,000 hits on YouTube. And I don't know what's funnier is the cat interrupting it or like this, this creepy, like nervous yeah, laugh for like 30 or seconds just after. Or old guy just hanging out playing Legos. Legos, I, I don't know. There's so many options. I want to talk about the one month statistical overview. So in the first month, I took a look at the statistics of what had happened. And to begin with, the views over one month were 321,013. The estimated minutes watched were 180,797, which translates to a little bit over three and a half months of human attention wasted watching this video. And as I mentioned a minute ago, the peak of the views took place on May the 5th. In terms of the devices that were used, by far the biggest was computer here in light green. Then in blue, you see mobile phone. And then the, uh, in the dark red here, tablet. In terms of the duration, the most uh, the point at which the most viewing was taking place was about 15 seconds into the video, which is the point at which Darwin puts his paw into my mouth. And you can actually see it. it's actually over 100% for a little bit here. And that's because some people uh, rewound it and watched that part again. Sex and age, it was by far the biggest with 50, uh, 45 to 54 year olds and pretty big with 55 to 64 year olds. It was uh, slightly more popular here in orange with females. Males here in blue were 47%. Taking a look at region, the top countries for viewing the video were the United States, Japan, United Kingdom, Germany, Canada, France, Brazil, Australia, Israel, and Finland. Taking a closer look at region and sex in the United States, here in orange, it was much more popular with females, whereas in Germany and France, it was much more popular with males. Looking at region and age, for the United States, Canada, Australia, and Finland, definitely more popular with people over 45 years old. It trended with a little bit younger age in Japan and United Kingdom, capturing more of the 35 to 44 year old range. And even a little bit younger still in Germany, where a little over the fourth of the viewers were 25 to 34 years old. The youngest group was in Brazil, where over half the views were people between 18 and 34 years old. And uh, it was fairly even among the ages in both France and Israel. All right, getting back to the chronology, June the 20th through the 22nd, Lego Town was attended by over 2,000 people, and we raised over $6,000 for the Camp Ernst Middle School Lego League. Early October of 2013, the, vi the video had a resurgence. It went around Facebook again, and at this point became very big on Twitter, hashtag LOLCat, and on Tumblr. There's a sample tweet, and here are a few of the Tumblr pages. In mid-October, my YouTube sponsor is Paul McCartney, and I'm a huge Paul McCartney fan, so this was a thrill for me. And I became a GIF on BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed had this going around. It was 23 signs that your cat actually owns you. And if you scroll down to number six, this is what you found.
and Darwin uses other cat as pillow. Friday, November the 29th, this was a big day because we ad adopted two more kittens from the pet rescue where we got Darwin. And some follow-up. The YouTube views are now at about a half million. The total views are in the millions. There's really no way for me to know the exact number, but even, for example, just this one Facebook page had over 40,000 likes and over 11,000 shares. I'm still getting comments, mostly from other countries. And if you search Sam Lap and Cat, it yields over 579,000 results. The total money earned for the distribution contract, let's go to the board and see. turned out to be $426.37, which was definitely a pleasant surprise for me. I really didn't expect to earn anything, and, you know, I can buy some Legos for that money. And finally, I'm glad to report that Darwin is back to his old self. And lastly, some lessons learned. First of all, you are what you post. And this really is an important lesson, I think, especially for young people. Long after I've built my last Lego and pet my last cat, this is still going to be who I am if you look me up. And think about uh, if you're applying for a job, that your employer or potential employer can look up what you've posted. So it really is important that you be careful what you post, because it becomes your identity. Next, people make rude comments in line. Don't worry about it. Adopting a pet from an animal rescue is very rewarding as a great lesson. And finally, another lesson was slash, backslash, slash, backslash, slash, backslash. Thank you for letting us share our viral video diary with you. If you have any questions or comments, we'd be glad to hear from you. You can leave them in the comments section here on YouTube, or you can go to that Facebook page, facebook.com slash LegoKY. Thank you.